very grateful for the award, but I'm also very grateful that, for the opportunity to serve the city. He's a very professional, very um, quiet type of guy, but he's a very funny guy. I remember the evening that he packed 20 children into his brand new hearse, took them for a ride, and left them at my doorstep. My grandfather, Frank, um, opened the funeral in 1910, so we've been at it for a very, very long time. This sign was preserved, and that is inside this building downstairs in the office area. My father died very suddenly when, when I was 20. That's when I took over running the funeral home. Not just the funeral business. It's basically his whole family has been involved in community service. The next award goes to St. Jude School. This money our school receives today will go towards programs. I went to school there, my kids have gone to school there, so we've been very involved in the church and at the school for, for many, many years. Through the generosity of Frank, this library became a reality. Put a little love in your heart. <laughs> if you ever wanted to do a story about real heroes from Waltham, this booklet um, contains the names of every young man who never made it back to neighborhoods across Waltham. We had a teacher who was perfectly healthy went home from school and had an aneurysm and died. Frank was here the next morning to counsel the children. So, you know, that's the kind of hero he is.